Congratulations on your decision to become a weight loss support group leader, helping others to discover their aha moments, celebrate successes, and work through obstacles will be just some of the aspects you will enjoy on this exciting journey. Maybe you've been a group leader, teacher, trainer, or counselor before. The skills you used in that role will surely be helpful in facilitating a group. On the other hand, maybe you're new to group facilitation and have some concerns regarding your ability to lead effectively. Relax, this guide will take you through the planning, implementation, and follow-up stages of your new group so you can lead with confidence. Some things you will learn are how to decide if you should be a support group leader, how to recruit group members, how to prepare for each meeting, how to get members connected to one another so they keep coming back, how to facilitate an engaging group discussion, how to motivate every member and ensure success, how to handle difficult situations and challenging members, how to transition members out of a group or close a group at the final meeting. Before you embark on this mission, you want to be sure that you will be willing and able to commit to the role and the responsibilities therein for the full time. Ask yourself the following questions. Do I want to help others succeed at weight loss? Am I sensitive to social cues and the needs of others in group situations? Am I willing to face challenges when they arise? Have I set a meeting time that is workable for my schedule? Do I have a meeting location with adequate parking and space for participant interaction? Or am I willing to open my home for this event? Will I need to obtain permission from anyone regarding the use of a public or private space? Will I need to obtain insurance or any other liability release related to the use of this space? Am I willing to spend the time necessary for preparation, set up, and take down? Is the start date of the group scheduled far out enough so that I have time to advertise and recruit members? Do I have at least one person who is willing to be a helper? Will refreshments be provided at the meetings? If so, will I provide them? Or will we do a potluck style? Or will we take turns? What are the guidelines for nutrition, fat, or calories of food served? If this group is part of a church, company, or organization, are there health code regulations we need to follow regarding the serving of food? Will I have the participants print out materials in advance, or will I provide copies for them? After reviewing these questions, you should have a good idea of whether or not you would like to proceed. If you think this is not a good match for you, Perhaps you could ask a friend to consider leading a group. Once you have decided that you would like to facilitate a group and you have scheduled the date, you will need to promote it. You can do this in a variety of ways depending on your style. Community calendar section of the local paper, social networking sites, flyers posted at local businesses, or word of mouth. The best room setup is either a circle or U-shape. This allows all members to see one another and interact without having to shift in their chairs or look at the back of another's head. If you cannot make this arrangement possible, try sitting people in groups at tables or the traditional classroom style seating arrangement. You can get a copy of the support group preparation checklist at ntblifestyle.com. This is the end of part one. Go on to part two of Becoming a Weight Loss Helper, The Group Experience.